For the past couple of years, the sport of pickleball has been growing in Hastings and other cities. People are figuring out that the game is a great way to get some exercise and have some fun. For this segment of Guide to the Good Life, we headed to the Peace Center next to First Presbyterian Church in Hastings. So this is pickleball, but explaining the sport can be done in a number of different ways. It's a smaller version of tennis because uh, you're on a court, uh, badminton because you can hit it up on, uh, on the fly, and there is some, some ping pong uh, strategy to it. The unusual part of it is the ball is a wiffle ball. So it slows it down when it's coming at you, but it also doesn't bounce as high as a tennis ball. I guess I would describe the sport as playing tennis on a smaller court with a big ping pong paddle. However you describe it, for most, like Bobby Burke, they are new to the sport, but became hooked to the game very quickly. When my one ping pong buddy didn't show up one, uh, one day, they were playing pickleball, and so I played pickleball. And the rest is history. I play probably four to six days a week. I used to play racquetball all the time, and then I shattered my kneecap and was out for like eight years. And then um, one of the guys here said, why don't you try pickleball? And I played once and it's like, who baby, it's just way too much fun. Kent Holston says he's played a lot of tennis and ping pong, but this was his first time playing pickleball. Well, it's a sport that you can do indoors, irregardless of the weather. Uh, you, you can see you can get multiple players involved. The games are short, only to 11 points. They let anyone give the game a try. While it's safe to say I could use some more practice, it's easy to see why the sport is growing. We have three portable nets here. They come down and they fit in a little duffel bag. Most of the nets are like 150. And you could tear it down and carry it away. A box of balls, eight bucks. One, two, one. It's for all ages. Some people truly think, like, oh, it's an old person's game. It's not. I mean, I'm out here, I get smoked by these people. I mean, it's every age, it's awesome. But we've appreciated some of the younger people, probably in their mid to late 20s, early 30s, that are, that are playing, and they keep coming back for more. They don't seem to mind uh, playing with us old folks. So I'm really encouraged when these young kids come and play because they step up the game. Damon Heitman is the associate pastor here and says this is a great activity for the church to be a part of. One of the core tenets of the faith is supporting community and how do we foster connections between people. The more connected that we feel to one another, the more willing we are to help each other, the more willing we are to support each other. We were pleased to be invited. It's a very fun, fun activity. Just on a crappy Thursday night with the weather, we have more than enough players. And I hate to sit out, so yeah, we're gonna need more courts. Brian Ganuzzi, NTV News, Hastings. If you're from the Hastings area and are interested in playing, then you're invited to join the game at the Peace Center next to First Presbyterian Church. You can also contact the Hastings YMCA or the City of Hastings. There are also leagues available to join in both Kearney and Grand Island. And I think Brian did pretty good. I, I'm digging his skills there.